then comes your costing in sap pp we use one costing concept which is called activity based costing okay uh, suppose uh, when uh, how this costing arrives this is your product one for production of this you need bomb then you need routing your bomb will have few materials your routing will have few operation so here suppose my material is x and double x triple x okay the cost for this is 10 20 30 okay and what my operation will have i'll have three operation 10 20 and 30 okay then at the time of product costing system consider variable cost and fixed cost so the cost comes from your bill of material is called variable cost because it will vary according to your production or it may be possible that certain kind of scrap generated more so your input metal cost is higher or your machines are not well so you incurred uh, you consumed more material so that's why it is called variable cost Now, this is a cost which is called fixed cost. Why it is called fixed cost? Suppose um, you hired one labor for 10 hours. Whether Okay, now whether your machine is running or not, we'll have to pay him. Okay, so that's why it is cost, called the fixed cost. The cost which are fixed in nature, which are not, which are not related directly to your production. Suppose the salary. Salary part is not directly proportionate with your production. Whether your production is 1000 metric ton or 5000 metric ton, your salary will remain same. Okay, so that part is called fixed cost. When we, and how to derive this fixed cost. So for this purpose, for fixed cost purpose, we use activity based costing. Suppose in operation during the operation number 10 i want two labor in operation number 20 I again want two labor in operation number 30 I again want three labor so here what i'll going to do uh, i'll create one activity as labor okay and i'll define x price to activity let us say that i'll define one hour cost is 100 okay so this is my activity this same activity from this this activity will go to your work center here in activity okay yeah. now what will happen so my final cost will be 100 into 200 again 200 600 so my cost is 700 is my fixed cost the but how system know that what is my labor cost so we can create certain activities and that and that activities can be assigned in your work center and when we do the production, when we create production order at that time, system copy two master data. One is your bomb, second is your routing. So when system copies your uh, routing at that time, system use this activity key and uh, uh, this activity price is defined at some other place. It is in the KP26. Okay, so according to that, system derive one planned cost. Now what, what will be my planned cost? This is my planned cost. So my total cost is 60 fixed cost plus 760 is my planned cost. Okay. Now what will happen? Suppose I started production. So at that time what I'm going to do, I'll consume the real quantity. Okay. So I consume, suppose I consume uh, uh, X item of... Uh, So 
so i consume this item of 12 rupees this item of 20 rupees this item of 40 rupees this is my actual cost oh it comes same make sure okay now this cost this cost when we confirm our operation at that time we have to confirm the labor hour suppose you said that for product for production of one metric ton you need 10 labor at operation number 10 two labor at operation number 10 and for eight hours it is this hour will come from your factory calendar okay so at the time of your operation confirmation we enter that how many hours we have used this labor so according to that system will calculate your actual fixed cost this is your planned fixed cost this is your planned fixed cost this is your planned variable cost okay, okay so from operation confirmation system will get us the fixed cost for this so suppose your fixed cost comes around 600 let us take one only figure 600 so what is your actual cost your actual cost is sum of your actual variable cost plus actual fixed cost 518 rupees so there is a difference between your planned cost and variable cost so this difference will be settled at the time of your production order settlement so this 182 rupees will go to your production uh, your uh, production order price difference account okay so okay. for that purpose this is if it, uh, it i explained in a uh, simple manner this is about your activity based costing and this work center view costing view is used to link up your fixed cost with your work center okay okay here this i mean the your cost